Welcome to part 3 of our IM series. In this video, we'll explore how to create custom roles to meet specific use cases. Let's take a look. Building on our example of different teams within an IT organization, the enterprise IT team is responsible for carrying out advanced operations on VMs. This includes tasks like making network-related modifications, monitoring VM performance, and installing guest tools. Meanwhile, the disaster recovery team handles critical operations such as backing up and restoring VMs, as well as managing failover and failback process between sites. Now, let's take a look at how we can leverage custom roles within Nutanix IIM to assign and manage these responsibilities effectively across teams. Let's go ahead and create a custom role called as Disaster Recovery Admin Role. Let's name it as Disaster Recovery Team. Since the Disaster Recovery Team is responsible for backup and recovery, let's focus on specific DR-based operation. In this case, we'll select the Recovery Point-based operations. For example, let's select Create Recovery Point. Nutanix recommends assigning permissions for tasks such as viewing clusters, viewing existing virtual machines to ensure the recovery point can be created successfully. Additionally, we should also grant permissions for other DR tasks such as restore recovery point, replicate recovery point to enable the team to manage the full recovery process efficiently. Here's the list of DR operations that we have added. Now let's go ahead and save it. Now let's go ahead and create an authorization policy. Let's select our role. Here you can see the list of operations. This role is allowed. We will have to define a scope here. Let's select configure access, select entity types and instances. In this example, we are allowing access to all entity types belongs to the category protection status true. Let's add a local user Jamie Wilson to this uh, authorization policy and save the authorization policy. You can see that the policy is created successfully. Now let's take a look at how this appears from an end user perspective. We have logged into Prism Central as Jane Wilson. Here are the list of VMs that are visible to her, all of which have a protection status of true. Let's go ahead and select a VM. So Jane can view its details. In terms of available actions, she can only create a recovery point. Click create recovery point. Let's give the recovery point a name and select create. As you can see that the recovery point is successfully created. Let's click on the VM name and you can see the list of recovery points which are created. Building on our example of IT team, let's create another role where the members can perform NGT tools installation. Let's call the role name as NGT tools team. Here are the list of operations that the NGT tools team can access. Click save. Now let's go ahead and add this role to an authorization policy. Let's select our role and let's define our scope here. Here we are going to select configure access, select entity types and instances. Here we are going to allow all the VMs belonging to the category marketing VM underscore VDI. Let's go ahead and add a local user Nick Evans to this authorization policy and click save. You can see that the policy is created successfully. We have logged into Prism Central as Nick Evans. Here are the list of VMs that the user has access to. Let's select a VM, click actions and you can see that uh, the user can install NGT tools. Let's select our NGT tools. You can see that the NGT installation is in progress. That's how easy it is to create authorization policies that has mind gain permissions on specific operations only on designated IT resources. See you in the next video.